hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today is a day three of may late coding challenge and the problem is two city scheduling so there are two n people and a company is planning to interview the cost of flying the ith person to city a is cost of i comma zero and uh, the cost of flying to the ith person to the city b is cost of i comma one so we have to find out the minimum cost to fly every person to city such that exactly n person to go city a and n person to go city b so in example one we have given a cost array of sending persons to city and city b pairs so here the person one sending city a is 10 and b to 20 like that we have this array so we have to find out the minimum and we have to send like total number of persons we have for example one four so we have to send two people in city a and two people in city b so for sending this city a so for the example we send like first two person in city a and the remaining two person in city b so the minimum cost by sending this way we got 110 and the constraints are the so length of the cost is between 1 to 100 and the cost length always even because that's why only we can send n n by 2 n by 2 basically this is 2n so if we think and the uh, values are between 1 to 1000 so let me explain you this so i have here the example one so what we can do i will uh, explain the two approach first let's say send every person to city a first like send all person send all to city a and uh, then get the cost of sending city a is 10 plus 30 plus 400 plus 30 so which is 30 30 is 470 okay and now we have to find out the two person from the four to send them to city b such that we have to minimize the this cost so this is our cost let's so minimizing this cost and so how we will choose those two person so we will check whether <coughs> which person giving uh, cost like from sending city b instead of city a so for person we are getting 20 minus 10 which is 10 and for person 2 we are getting 200 minus 30 which is 170 for person 3 we are getting if we send to is this person to city b instead of city a so we are getting 350 minus of and then a last person 2 minus 30 so we are getting minus 10 so if we send these two person three and four so let me write down here person one person two person three and the person four if we send person three and person four to city b we will get back total this will be so the cost is equals to 470 minus 350 minus 10 so which is equals to 110 so which is the answer out the minimum cost to send n person to city a and city b so this is approach one so let me write down approach one of thinking this problem and uh, <coughs> another way uh, approach and another way let me explain the approach to here uh, okay this is not two so in approach to what we can we have to check like if we whether we send person a here in let's say in for person one 10 20 so this is our person one we have to check where to send this guy whether to city a or city b so if we get the difference of sending this person instead of city a to b this will be negative this minus 10 if we send this person to city a instead of city b we will sa save the 10 cost similarly for the person 2 we have like 30 comma 200 and if we do same 30 minus 200 is equal to 170 and for the third person we have 400 comma 50 so this will be 400 minus 50 and is equals to 350 and the for the fourth person is 30 comma 20 so this will be uh, 30 minus 20 
so this is the total cost so this is the difference of cost whether we uh, like if sending city a over city b so we will sort this cost and select first n person to send them to city a and the remaining n person to send to city b so after sorting this our let's me again write down write down is here person 1 person 2 and this guy is person 3 and this guy is person 4 so if I write down based on their difference cost of saving so the person 2 will come first then person 1 uh, then person 1 then person 4 and then person 3 if we sort the cost of difference cost so based on it we will pick person 2 and person we will send city a person 1 2 and person 1 and city b and to city b we will send person 4 and person 3 so the cost here is so the cost here is uh, person 2 cost sending a is 10 per, no 30 plus 10 which is mm, not minus 30 it's a 30 so okay this should be 20 uh, not 20 it should be 40 and for sending person 4 to and 4 3 to city b the cost is 20 plus 50 which is 70 so if we sum this total cost is comes to be 110 so this is the approach to you can think any way like what of the approach are good so i will implement first second approach in the code so let's start the implementation of second approach which is very easy so, as well the first is also easy but uh, for implementation i am going with the approach to two so here what we can do we will sort the cost arrays dot sort using the arrays class sort method and cost based on the passing the of like person 1 p1 comma p2 and uh, it will be p1 of 0 minus p1 uh, sorry p2 of 0 minus so this is the cost differences of sending person 1 to city a and city b uh, person 2 to city a and subtract the cost difference of person 1 to city b 1 and uh, this will be person 1 and then of minus person 2 of sending city b so this based with on this we will sort this array and after that for int i is equal to 0 i less than cost dot length divide by 2 i plus plus and we need to store the min cost in min cost is equal to 0 and here so the min cost of sending n person to city a is uh, cost of i comma 0 okay and similarly min cost plus equals of sending cost of remaining n person which is cost of this will be start from the n the cost dot length divide by 2 so minus i uh, should be plus i of 1 so sending this like to b remaining n person and the first is to sending them a so this will be calculate the total cost and in the end we have to return the min cost so let's compile our solution code it is compiling and for the example one we are getting the correct answer so let's submit our code which is accepted so the time complexity of this solution is we are doing sorting and sorting will take the time complexity here is o of n log n where n is a size of the cost array thank you if you like my solution please hit the like button and if you have any question please post the comment 
and subscribe to my channel for the future upcoming videos notif